Fred Carl. Glory to his holy name. Our Father, well, well, our Father, my Lord, we God in heaven. Mm -hmm. Father God, here it is again and again that you, before we come to serve, let's come before you this morning. One more time. time. One more time. I come this morning and I come as humble as I know how to come this morning. Well, well. I come with thanksgiving in my heart. Lord, we thank you. Thanking you for life and life here, well as live with my Lord. Asking the Lord that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted. Please, That's Lord, right, Lord, Lord, please, Lord, please. My strength and my remedy. Mm -hmm. Father God, I come before you as the empty picture. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Realize, oh, Heavenly Father, that you can fill our cup up at any time. My Lord. Mm -hmm. And we ask you, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to come and do this business. Please. Yeah. Come by St. Peter, Lord, if you don't stay long. Please. Yeah. 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 Touch yeah. here the one that in the sound of my weak boy. Please do something. Please. I don't remember one with the sound of my weak voice. But I ask you, Lord, to remember every member of St. Peter. Yeah. Give a mighty way this morning. My Lord. From all of them down to the youngest. Lord. Yeah. Have much of all. Have much of all. We ask you, Lord, to touch our pastor this morning. Yeah. Give a mighty way in this family, Lord. Mm -hmm. Stretch them all over the week. Mm -hmm. And yeah. double up the cold now. Yeah. 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 And your grace is sufficient for us all this morning. My Lord, my Lord. We need you this morning. Yes, Lord. we do, Jesus. We need you. Some for one thing and some for another. Yes. My Lord. We all need you this morning. We my need Lord. you, Jesus. We need you. We need ask you, Lord, to come in the midst of Please, Jesus, please. My Lord. Father, we ask you, Lord, strengthen us over we. Please, Jesus. And build us up what we're told now. This please, morning. please, Lord. Look down on us, Father, and help us on. Have mercy on us, Lord. Let your mercy abide with us all this morning. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. We ask you, Lord, bless to bless our children this morning. Please, yeah, in yeah. a mighty way, Lord. Please, Jesus. Please. Bless the elder people, Lord, in a mighty way this morning. Bless the ones that might hear this morning, Lord. Uh, Touch them, Lord. Make a lot of love this morning. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. We need you, Lord. Yeah. We need you, Lord. Lord we need you before, Lord. We ask you, Lord, forgive us all our sin. Right. We're not dreading our shock. Please, For you know what I do, mean. somewhere I'm not. Word it thought to be, we may have seen. And we know, Lord, that you was able to forgive them for you. Say it so in your word. My Lord. Now, bless the Lord. We ask for forgiveness this morning. Please. Forgive Just them. like they live, Lord. Please. Be ready to be a clean heart. My Lord. Now, bless the Lord this morning. Father, mm -hmm. go with us wherever we go, Lord. Take care of us. Don't Please. leave us, Lord. Pray for my family this morning. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Not only my family, but I pray for all families. All oh, families. Everywhere, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have yeah, mercy on the wall victim, Lord. Well, Touch him, Father. Yeah. Touch him, Father. Yeah. Have mercy, Father. If it be your will, Father. Your will. Bring it to the end, Father. Yeah. It will be your will, Lord. You yeah. know, Lord, that you can do anything but fail. Yeah. Yeah. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on Lord. Lord, just strengthen us, Lord. Please, Jesus. Please, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we bless all our kids that went to the prom, man, back and made well, it well, to the same well, time. Well, yeah. Yeah. Touch us, Father, with a thing I love this morning. Well, and Lord, well, you have well. been lying, Father. We know you're able, Lord. Yeah. We know you're able, Lord. Well, we got well. something ready here in St. Peter. We ask you, Lord, just strengthen us, Lord. Please, Lord. Please, Keep Lord. it in your will, Lord. Maybe the future of the church one day. Well, we Lord. ask you, Lord, to help my soul. Help yeah. Yeah. Father, don't leave him. Help in your care, Lord. Have mercy. Father, we lay, you know you lay, we know you lay. My you do this thing, but fail this morning. We ask you, Lord, just to come on in our room this morning. Oh. Come, come on, on in our room. Come on. Lord, come on in our room. Lord. Come on, Lord. Come Lord, please stop yeah. back here, Lord. Lord. You don't Lord. stay long. My Lord. How much of us? In Jesus' name, we pray all these prayers. We ask you, Lord, to grant them to us and to be your divine over the right yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. amen.
for today is found in the book of Psalms. The 103rd chapter of the Psalms. Verses 13 through 19. Psalm chapter 103, verses 13 through 19. Yes. Like as a father pitied, like as a father pitied his children, so the Lord pitied them that fear him. Yes. For he knoweth our frame. He remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone. And the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruled over all. You may be seated. This is taken from this morning daily devotional. It's called Feeling Dusty. When Warren mentioned doing our weekly ministry team call that he was feeling dusty, I sensed that this was his way of referencing the physical challenges associated with aging and ill health. For Warren and his wife, both in their late 60s, 2020 included doctor's visits, surgical procedures, and the rearranging of their home to accommodate their in-home care. They were on the other side of the prime of life and they were feeling it. One doesn't have to live long before sensing our inadequacies, imperfections, and weaknesses, physically, intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually. God in the person of his son Jesus stepped into our fallen world and cares for those who experience the liability of human existence. Furthermore, David wrote, he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The term dust takes us back to Genesis. Then the Lord formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. Are you feeling dusty these days? Welcome to the realities of earthly living. Remember, however, that when we feel most vulnerable, we're not left alone. Our compassionate God knows and remembers. He demonstrated his love to us by sending his son to provide forgiveness for earthly people yes. like you and me. Whatever life they bring, may we trust in him. Yes. What situations make you aware of your human limitations? How have you seen the hand of God in the midst of your weakness? Father, through many and various ways, I feel my limitations, my destiny. Help me to be strong in faith and trust in you. <coughs> Thus ends our scripture lesson. Hail the praise of number 69 from all that dwells below the sky. <laughs>
contrary to all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, who brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Lord, have mercy upon us, and incline our hearts to be His love. Hear, O my God, to be Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, 
the one who paid it all, and unto him all we do truly Oh, What a wonderful day it is outside. Amen. A marvelous day to be alive. Yes. yes, it is. And to be seen yes. one among another as we are still trying to emerge Amen. from the great pandemic. But through it all, God has been faithful yes. to each and every one of us. And everybody in here has something to praise him about. Yes, sir. Something to thank him yes. for. Yes. Something to honor him for. Yes. I don't know your story. How was it? But I know you got a story to tell Amen. this morning. Amen. So we'll stand here this morning with a heart of thanks. Give it. Amen. Now, let me get all of our young people to stand for just a moment. Get them a big hand this stand. We are up in the house today. It is so good to see Amen. them here today. Amen. Oh man, I had something else in mind I wanted to do. But I'm going to do something else. Lord, thank you. Oh, bless Yeah. Get my two young brothers to come up front, please. Get my young lady to come around here. And I want you all to come around here. I want you to stand here. You come right in the chair. I want her to come around. Oh, all right. Stand in the chair. Can you stay hold held up without falling? Because there you, go. you stand right next to him. And you just look up at <laughs> See, this is kind of like what was going on in the story of David and Goliath. Yeah. See what I'm saying? But see, one thing that we missed, see, the giant from Gad, he stood around nine and a half feet tall, and that still probably ain't tall enough for this young man. But a lot of the one thing we missed is that he had an armor barrel with him. Yeah. See what I'm saying? And see, that armor barrel, that was two, if we were to read in the Bible, you would see two people, and that is David. Standing and looking up at all of that trouble ahead. See, sometimes people are gang up on you. And, you know, we, we all had to grow up. And we be so scared. Getting out of school. Hey, anybody ever told you? I'm gonna get you when you get out of school. Huh? They almost get you. And you be so scared. But somehow we seem to get slipped through. Yeah. Somehow somebody else, another child showed up and said, uh-uh, you better not put your hand on them. And we was able to get by. And David was kind of like that. But no, we had on this side, we had the Lord on his side. And when you got him on your side, I don't care how many people came up on this side. God on your side, you're more than a conqueror, young lady. It might look bad. It might look insurmountable. It might look that you like you're in trouble. But all you have to do is call on the name of the Lord. And I declare he'll show up. Won't he do it? He'll be right there on time. And we all know the story. Little David. He went and got his slang out. They offered him all kind of assistance. Saul yeah. said, no, take my little stuff and put it on. He said, no, I don't need that. All he needed was the power of the Almighty God. Yeah. He went there and got his slang in and got five 
smooth stone. But all it took was one. Because, see, he was working it out, see. When he was out there watching over his father's sheep, see, he was practicing for that time. And, see, God will get you ready for things that go on in your life. You'll be surprised the resources that he will give you when your back is up against the wall. He'll give you the victory. The bigger they are, boop, the harder they will fall. Give them all a hand. Now let us pray ourselves. Come to the altar this morning. Well, we can't come to the altar. You all know what I mean. Let's yeah. get our heads where we are. Yes, Lord. Have you ever been here? You know, you in the house just doing something. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and it, it, the, 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 the urge, the feeling just came all over you. Mm -hmm. And you had to pray right then and there. Oh, yeah. I think about that all the time. Hey. Every time I feel the spirit hey. moving hey. in my heart, hey. hey. yes, I'm pray. Because, see, I didn't need to pray right then. I might even need to go outside and do something needed, you know, to run an errand or something like that. But if I feel the unction, the urge, the call on the name of the Lord right then and there, I'm going to do that. And I've learned that God will honor that prayer too. God will show up at that moment when you're calling on Him in prayer. Oh, eternal Father, in the name of Jesus. We come this morning, oh Lord, how excellent is thy name in the earth. We come, Lord, to give you all the glory, give you all of the honor, and give you all of the praise. Because you are worthy of all of our praise, of all of our worship. There's no sacrifice that is too great. So, Father, we come in the name of of Jesus. I know, Lord, that you know everything. I know, Lord, that you got all power in your hand. I know, oh Lord, that you can do anything but fail. Oh, but Lord, just stop by this place. For just a little while. Just show up, Lord. Just strengthen us, Lord. Just build us up on every leading side. Somebody's sick. Somebody's uncertain. Somebody don't know what tomorrow will bring. But let them know, Father God, that you hold tomorrow in your hand. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch everybody in this place. In the name of Jesus, deliver everybody in this place this day. In the name of Jesus, help us. To be more patient with you. Help us, Father, to learn how to wait on you. Help us, Father, to have more faith. Help us, Father, to have more courage. Help us, Father, in the name of Jesus, to dig down and get that power that you have us. And when we do that, everything will be all right. Now, Lord. In the name of Jesus, yeah. we thank you, we praise you, we honor you, we lift you up. In the name of Jesus, we worship you, we adore you, we bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus, if they pray and let the people of God say amen. 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 amen.
come as we bring our choir. And Lord, just use them this morning. Please, Lord, in a mighty way. That St. Peter AME Church inspiration choir. Oh, yeah. They the best. Oh, they ours. My mama used to always tell me. It's a poor dog that won't wag his own tail. It's a poor dog that won't have pride in his own. We love him. We're here so that they can minister unto us in song.
shouted with a great shout <clears throat> that the wall fell down flat so that the people went up into the city every man straight before him and they took the city <clears throat> and they utterly destroyed all that was in the city both man and woman young and old and ox and sheep and ass to the edge of the sword <clears throat> but Joshua had said unto the two men that had spied out the country, go into the harlot house and bring out this the woman and all that she had as ye swear unto her. And the young men that were spies went in and brought out Rahab and her father and her mother and her brethren and all that she had, and they brought out all her kindred and left them without the camp of Israel. For just a little while, this morning we're going to use as a topic when your back is against the wall. There comes a time. When we feel <laughs> as if our backs are up against mm -hmm. a wall, especially during this period of time in our history, Amen. when many people are just now beginning to emerge from their home Amen. and are forced to practice strict social distancing, 
when they do go out, you know, and, and many of us still, and I don't blame you, still don't want to mix Amen. like we used to. You know, we don't want to shake hands like we used to. You know, we don't want to hug like we used to because they're telling us that this whole thing is around to stay. Amen. And you know, some things we just don't have to learn how to live with. That was you know, and, and so, you know, sometimes, you know, in many situations, we feel like our back is up against the wall. We feel like that is no way out. Every day there seems to be some kind of challenge, something going on, but, you know. Right. And, you know, we just seem helpless on yeah. until we remember that that is one who got our back. Yeah. When our backs are up against the wall. Amen. This is a very, very interesting book of the Bible, the book of Joshua. That's a lot of killing going on in this particular book. Yeah. I mean, it is. I mean, it is. It is you know, I mean, but, you know, but the Bible had everything in it. That is absolutely nothing new. Under the sun. Hey. You can open up this word right here. You can find an answer, a solution to whatever is going on in the world today. The Bible describes four of these battles in detail. Amen. With the battle of Jericho as the most famous of all. But get this, church. The fall of Jericho did not involve a real battle. God told Joshua that the city and its king and its warriors had been given into his hand. All the people had to do was obey. Allow God to move, enter the enemy territory, and claim God's victory. But you know what? Sometimes we make things more difficult Really have to be in our own lives simply because we won't obey. Preach. We always want to try to go about things our own way. The word of God been with us for thousands of years. We want to do things. We want to experiment with stuff. Why? When God has already told us what we need to do about things, all we got to do is obey. But we end up paying the price for our disobedience. Having our back against the wall sometimes means that we've done all that we can do. You prayed, you gave, you went, and now it's time for God to take over. Amen. So here are some points that I would like for us to remember when we're engaged in our spiritual battles. One, remember that God is always at the center of our battles. Amen. God's battle plan to march around Jericho did not include all the people. It probably consisted of an advanced guard, the priest, the ark, the real God, and a representative group of the people. The ark, which represented the presence of God, was placed in the middle to remind the Hebrews and the Canaanites living in Jericho standing on the wall watching all of this Amen. that God is the sinner. Yeah. The creator, Amen. the sustainer of all things. We all know that the battle is not ours, but the Lord. Amen. But we still sometimes try to fight things in our own strength. Amen. Just like we just learned a few minutes ago, we shouldn't be fighting things in our own strength. Just give that thing to God. Amen. He knows what to do. Let him handle it. And he will give us the victory. Mm -hmm. Joshua chapter 6 verse 8 said, When Joshua had spoken to the people, the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets before the Lord went forward, blowing their trumpets, and the ark of the covenant followed them. You see, the ark is representative of the presence of God. Mm -hmm. The Lord had already promised Joshua, Amen. as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. And he promised us also Amen. in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 
I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. When it looks like you're not there, you're right there. You know, when, 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 when it seems like that, you got dried up. When we see like we don't experience the movement of the Holy Spirit, you see that? Because he said in his word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said, I'll be with you always, even until the end of the world. The second thing we must learn this morning is we have to respect God's time. Amen. God's instructions were to march around the city once a day for six days and then on the seventh time as they marched the Israelites were to keep silent and, and, and then on the seventh day they were to shout Amen. and the walls are to come down Amen. you've heard me say it before you're going to hear me say it all the time time is everything with God Amen. time is everything everything with God and we miss so much of the best of God because we simply are not willing to wait on his time. Amen. Oh, but if we ever learn how to wait on him, then we will receive his very best. So many times we, we, we get ahead of him and then we look back over things and we realize if only I had waited. God has something special Amen. for me. Amen. We need to learn how to wait on him. Yes. I don't know about y'all, but I'm learning right now. Amen. How to wait on him. Hey! That thing's going on. Yes. And there's sometimes that that thing that you can do. Yes. We want to do our own thing. But you tried everything and it didn't work. So we have to learn how to wait on it. Oh, I know that it's hard, but we're all in it together. We just have to learn how to wait on it. You know, just, just learn how to have confidence in him. Learn how to know that he is seeing what is going on. And if we just wait for just a little while longer, he'll show up in whatever situation that we're going through. The third thing we need to learn to do is to trust in God's might. Amen. On the seventh day, God gave specific instructions. Mm -hmm. After marching around the wall seven times, the priests were to sound one blast from the ram's horn and the people would shout. Amen. God then brought down the walls of Jericho. You see, shouting and marching do not bring down walls. The power of God is what bring down walls. It's the power of God that going to bring down all obstacles in your way. It's the power of God that's going to move those mountains out of your way. It's the power of God that's going to give you solution to the problem that you think that you can't work out. It's the power of God that got you through that certain job. It's the power of God that got you through that hostile divorce. Yes. It's the power of God that cured your cancer. Oh, yeah. It's the power of God that got you through that chapter 13. Yes. It's the power of God that put that title in front of your name. Yes. It's the power of God that not only woke you up this morning, but got you there and started you. That power is the same as the mighty strength that he exerted when he raised Jesus Christ from the dead yeah. and seated him at his right hand in the hill of the land. It's the power of God. We love to sing that song. Everything move by the power of God. It ain't had nothing to do with it. We didn't do anything. It's the power of God. It's the power of God that's going to get your energy out of your way. It's the power of God that's going to sell that issue at home. It's the power of God that's going to sell that issue on the job. It's the power of God. 
that makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. Number four, listen carefully. Never forget God's honor. Joshua chapter 6, verse 17a in the New International Version says of Jericho, the city and all that is in it are devoted to the Lord. That was and see, this is why. When something was devoted to the Lord, it was to be left untouched because everything belonged to God. Amen. See, Jericho would be the first fruits of the promised land. It was the first city that they would go in and take. And God didn't want his people to touch anything in there but to devote everything to him. Mm -hmm. And that was not easy for the people to do. Hey. After leaving the devil that they had been in for 40 years, and now they were entering into a fruitful place, they wanted to hold some things for themselves. Mm -hmm. And who could blame them? But when the Hebrews honored God with the first fruit, he gave them 30 more victories and the rest of the land. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how? The mother of the prophet Samuel. Yeah. She had been barren and unable to have any children. All but Hannah made a vow unto the Lord to give him the first fruit of her womb. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou indeed look on the fish of thy handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child. Then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall be no razor come upon his head. As soon as the baby Samuel was weaned, Hannah did what she said she was going to do. Amen. She took Samuel. To Eli the priest. Yeah. She said, For this child I prayed, mm -hmm. and the Lord had given me my petition, which I asked of him. Mm -hmm. Therefore also I have lent him to the Lord. Mm -hmm. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. Mm -hmm. But look what God did. <laughs> After Samuel, how to kept on getting true. <laughs> hey, after the Lord built Hannah so that she could see him. Bear three more sons and daughters. And the child grew before the Lord. Hannah kept on having children. See, this is what God promises. Amen. Give and it shall be given unto you. Amen. A good measure. Press down and shake it together. And pour over into your mouth and the bread as you do see it. It shall be given unto you. Oh, I don't know how many people out there on Facebook who may be in need of deliverance today. But I want you to know that you are in a position to experience God's deliverance. Yeah. You see, because the battle of Jericho is an illustration of God's salvation. All the wall fell down except for one section where Rahab and her family were here. You see, Rahab was a harlot. Amen. A prostitute. Amen. I don't care who you are hey. or what you are. A man, a woman, LGBTQ. I don't care what you did that I don't care what you're planning to do as soon as this is over. But God loves and he has a plan for your life. There's no secret what God can do. What he's done for others, he'll do for you. When Joshua had sent out two spies to do the land of Canaan, Rahab had taken and hid them on the roof of her house with stalks of flesh. And she said to the rain, I know that the Lord has given you the land and that your terror is falling upon us. And all the inhabitants of the land, because of you. For we have heard yeah. how the Lord yeah. dried up the water yeah. of the Red Sea for you. Yeah. 
when you came out of Egypt and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites. There was on the other side of the Jordan. Rahab used a rope of flesh that she yes. died. Yes. Rahab to help the spies escape. Then they used it as a symbol of protection for her household. Does that ring a bell? Does that sound familiar, church? Rahab had also heard how the Jews painted the blood of lambs over their doorposts in Egypt as protection from the angel of death. The spies were saying, put the sign of the blood in your window so that when the walls of Jericho fall down, you will be saved. Because God had a plan for Rahab's life. When this Amorite woman, who more than likely had been an idol worshiper, was saved from destruction of Jericho, she was absorbed into the people of God. She had spent a life in prostitution, but God provided her with a husband. There's somebody out there for y'all. Just wait on the Lord. Rahab's husband's name was Sam. Yes. And Salmon and Rahab gave birth to a son, Boaz. Boaz embraced a wife named Ruth out of a pagan cult. Now that's what I call divine design. The line continued with Obed and Jesse and then with David all the way down through 42 generations to Jesus Christ the yeah. Savior. Of the world. Because God really? had a plan. Because God still has a plan. Yeah. And we learn how to wait on him. Yeah. Be a good courage. And he shall strengthen our hearts. Yeah. I know that you get tired of waiting. Right. I know that sometimes you want to give up. Yeah. Sometimes. You want to talk in the tower, yeah. but just keep on waiting yeah. on the Lord. He said, I know two plans that I have for you. Plans to give you hope and to give you a future. And we just learn how to wait on the Lord. He had a plan for the world, and that plan was Jesus. That you'll show up yeah. right on time. We thank you that you can deliver us from our enemies. 
We thank you, oh Lord, that we have nothing to feel. Oh, that's not even in our vocabulary. I'm waiting on the Lord to show up. I don't know who you are, but if you need a savior, his name is Jesus. The Messiah. The anointed one. The one who paid the penalty for our sin. My Bible tell me Hallelujah. Right. You know, I always go over that thing with the Lord. Because yeah. I want to get that thing right. Yeah. I don't want to get that thing up. You got people that listen. There are lies on the line. Yeah. This is a precious moment. I don't want to mess that thing up. But my word tell me in Romans chapter 3. Hey. Help! Verse 23, that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But hallelujah, I can turn over for some relief. And Romans chapter 6, verse 23, where it tells me that the way of sin is there. All but the guilt of God is eternal life. You can't describe it. He's undescribable, all powerful, all good. I have Christ. Guilty God. Eternal life in Christ Jesus. If I go back one chapter to Romans chapter 5, verse 8, he demonstrated his own love for us. And that's why we were yet sinners. Over there at the H and D. Come on now. Yes, sir. While I was over there partying. Yeah. Yeah. While I was over there listening to all that music. Yeah. He had already made a way. Yeah. He had already yeah. demonstrated his own love for me at Calvary. The Bible tells me in Romans chapter 10, verse 9. That if I would confess with my mouth, if you would confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we can be saved. Is there anybody here? Is there anybody out there who want to be saved, who don't know what might happen? If you close your eyes and yell right now, do you know where you're going? But this is the opportunity for you to find out. Just repeat up for me. Lord, I know I am a sinner. I know that my sin has earned for me eternal separation from you. I believe that Christ died for me. I believe that on the third day, he arose from the dead. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. In the name of Jesus, in this prayer. Amen. Amen.
now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we yeah. ever ask yeah. or think, according to the power that working within him. Let the people of God say, Amen. Amen.